we are going to import data into Power BI from a file saved in SharePoint. So in Power BI, we have this option to click get data from other source. And that will open up a window where we can choose from multiple options. And you can see that there's this option for SharePoint folder. So of course, before you connect, you're going to need to know where your file is in SharePoint. So for us, we open that here. And I know that my file that I want to work with is here, but I can't use the full URL here. So I can only grab and work with the first portion of this URL. And that's something you might need to explore around with. But if you click connect, it's going to prompt you to add the site URL. And I just happen to know that I, this is the furthest, the deepest I can go into the folders on this site before I run into errors uh, with Power BI. So the workaround for that is what we're gonna explore here because we can get so far into SharePoint, but it's gonna pull all of these files that are stored in all of those folders. So we need to actually um, get this narrowed down. So we can go ahead and click transform data and that's going to open our Power Query Editor. And I'm going to pull that over into our screen here. And now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to locate your file. And so we have the name um, of the, we have the name column, which is the name of the files. If we click the little drop down arrow here, we can search for the file name here. Um, but you'll find that you might not always uh, get the result you're looking for using that search. So instead, you might need to use text filters here, in which case you can do text filters and then contains. And this is sometimes a better option for finding your file. So it'll open the filter rows pop-up and then you can leave contains there. And then what you wanna do is get the name of your file and paste it in there. So if we go back to SharePoint and what you can do here, if you have a long file name, you can just do rename and then that will allow you to do copy that. We'll go ahead and click cancel. We'll go back to Power BI and we'll paste that in here and click OK. Could take a minute if you've got a lot of files that it's got to search through. OK, now we found the file. And the next step is to actually open that file in Power BI. So what you want to do for that is click binary under the content column. And again, it might take a minute for this to open. Now you can open your table under the data column. You'll see the link for table. And now your table is open. So now you can do further transformation of your data here. And you'll also notice that every step that we did from source is added here. So if you need to go back to any steps, you can click over here. And just to do a little bit of further transformation, you'll note here that our column names are actually in the first row. And we want them to be up here where it says column one, column two, column three. There's actually a button for that right up here use first row as headers so we can go ahead and add that step and now our headers have been promoted and at the same time that happened power bi added this additional step called change type and what that did was it updated the type of data in these different columns and that's signified by the little icon here abc next to the column header so in this case We've got text in the, in these, these are text values in, in this column. And then here we've got a little date, a little calendar icon, which signifies that is a date. These are, these are all dates in here. And then you've got one, two, three, um, which is signifying that these are binary. And of course you can change that by simply clicking on that icon and changing the, the type there. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. As always, we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.
拜拜。